Hey YouTubers, this is Galen Merrick 49 I am back with more of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone PC Restored. Um, so today I am going to be walking you guys through on how to set up the free play and restored projects. Um, so as you can see I have it divided into two folders, one for the restored and one for the free play. Um, and so I kind of merged the textures and the system files from the free play into the restored since everything in the restored is pretty much up to date. Um, so I've been updating the restored project uh, daily, um, kind of just going through all of the maps, making sure they're functioning properly and um, fixing them up and when I'm done with that I'm going to be doing the same thing with the free, free play maps I'm going to be updating those as well um, and when I'm done with that I'm going to be uh, working on other projects um, so what you want to do is you want to um, you're, you're going to want to right click on HP1 Restored and click download and okay I'm gonna cancel that out um, mainly because I've already have this you know set up um, so when you download it to your desktop you're going to have uh, and you you extract it you know you open it up you're gonna have these four folders the texture folder, the system folder, the sounds folder, and the maps folder. Um, and as you can see, I've been editing these, like uh, Web3 intro. Let's try that one. So as you can see, it's showing that I edited it. Uh, fire caves, you know, forest edge. So I've been updating these pretty frequently. Um, so when you extract the, the zip file um, you're gonna get these four folders and you're just going to like with the map folder you're going to copy everything from the map folder into the map folder here in the game directory and then that principle applies to the sounds folder you know you're going to extract or open or copy the sounds this this file into you know the sounds folder so um, and then the system files they go in the system folder and then the textures they go into you know the textures folder um, so you would just copy everything from all the contents of each folder into their respective uh, counterparts in the directory um, and then you it, to do the restore project you would just do a new game and then you would go from there um, you can also for the free play project um, if you want to start right into that um, what you can do too is Um, so you can just do a new game and then it'll do um, okay, so you'll get that and then you know the cutscene will play so that's how you start the the restored project and if you want to do the free play you just type in open HP one. And it doesn't matter if it's capitalized or if it's lowercase. HP1 Hogwarts. And now you are in free play. So, um, it basically kind of. So that's that's basically how you would get into the free play project. You know, it's just by typing open HP1 Hogwarts. 
and then from there you can kind of free roam the castle. Um, so that is it for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to actually be moving on Saturday. Um, so I probably won't be able to upload videos, um, you know, until I'm settled and then everything, you know, my computer is set up and everything. So uh, this will be my last week um, uploading videos. I haven't uploaded anything for a couple weeks because, you know, preparing for the move and everything. So um, this will be my last week um, uploading videos. So as of Saturday, um, I'm going to be taking another hiatus from YouTube until um, I'm settled and um, so stay tuned um, I'll keep you guys informed on uh, when I will be back um, I should be uploading more videos throughout the week um, so stay tuned there's more to come